Hello, welcome back. Are you guys ready for another ship with me video? And thank you video. If you are and you have something to drink, let's get this party started. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Grandma Gaines. This is Bohippian Life. I'm a reselling grandma on multiple platforms. And um, today's video is a thank you and you guys might as well ship with me. And so we have three items, a Poshmark item and two eBay, the eBay sales. Uh, my assistant needs to go out, so let's take care of that. I'll be right back. The first thing I think we're gonna do is the uh, pink flamingo lamp. And that one sold on Poshmark. So in here are my supplies. Package poppers. Wait, I don't have any paper to write a note. I do actually. Um, I'll just cut the bottom of the shipping label off and use that. Okay. And it's just going to say, uh, thank you for poshing with me. Actually, um, we'll write her first name, Jill. Thank you. I just put my little YouTube channel on there and some package toppers. So we'll just grab something out of here. Maybe. Some of these are extremely old. Um, we have stickers. And uh, I have a whole thing of prayer cards. I just can't find them. The ones from our uh, card of the day. Well, you guys, I wonder. Oh, they're right here. So we'll just grab one of these as well. A couple little gifts um we have to protect this so i'm going to take the bulb out of the base and we're going to protect it first actually Let's wrap this end up first. And we're going to protect our pink flamingo. 
I need to stuff something inside just to help cushion it a little. Just for bouncing. It's just, I'd rather take the extra time. Use extra paper. Oh, please do not break. Use extra paper. Because it is a Poshmark purchase, priority mail, uh, any priority mail, uh, box, envelope, anything that says priority mail, you can use if it's Poshmark. Um, other than that, you have to uh, keep an eye, real close eye on um, your shipping labels. So again, we need to fill the void. And I like to use these old patterns. Like I say, you can find them everywhere and anywhere. A dime a dozen. They're so inexpensive. Isn't that adorable though? Look at that. And then look at this one. <laughs> So I'm just going to fill it up somewhat, give it a nice cushion. And I say it all the time, save, if you, if you purchase stuff online, save that. All your boxes, the stuff that, all the shipping stuff that comes in, especially if you're a reseller, they come in so handy. All right, so I have some in the bottom there. So I'm gonna stick this in. And we wanna make sure, so it has plenty of room on each side. My hand's in the way, but it has plenty of room on each side so I can fill it in and cushion it real well. And I'm going to also put this light bulb in right here. And again, just start filling it, filling around the sides. It's super important to get it all filled in. So I'm going to fill it in and I'll be back. I almost forgot to put my thank you note in there. Stuff that down in the side, filling it up nicely. So this should be good. Ooh. Oh, there was a pin in that one. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my God. That was scary. I will message Jill and caution her. Oh my gosh. So, um, I'm so glad I found that. Before we tape it, uh, after you've got it all packed in there nice and snug, you want to shake it. Make sure that um, your item's not going to move. If it's not moving in there, Ooh, Dobie, hurry up and tape it.
One more. And then because this is a priority one down in here, I can put her shipping label in uh, one of these envelopes. So that is what I'm going to do. And I will be back when we get to our eBay item. So I'm just going to finish this thank you note. This one says, Rachel, thank you for shopping with me. Um, again, this is an eBay purchase. And same thing. Protect the little void. And wrap it up. I'm not concerned about putting a whole bunch of paper around the item that sold because I used so much paper to protect it in the box. So again, I'm not going to bore you guys, but down here I'm going to grab, this is the one that had that safety pin in it, or a push pin I should call it. Grab a couple patterns. And fill the box up. I'm going to go ahead and stick the items right in here. Could probably stand them up. Oh, yeah. Yep, much better. And here's my thank you note. Grab a couple of package toppers. Um, mushroom sticker. Inspirational quote. <laughs> And what else do I have? I feel like I should grab one more thing. A postcard. Huh, this is going to Florida. At least, I mean that uh, postcard's Florida. Stuff that in the side. Where is this one going to? This one is going to Brooklyn. New York, Rachel in Brooklyn. All right, so now that it is in there, I'm gonna fill the void. I'll be back. All right, so let's see if we have enough packing. Oops, wrong way. Packing in it. Oh yeah, I think it's great. All right. piece of tape on it. Oopsies. Those are future eBay auction items you're hearing back there. I'll show you what they are. Yep. Getting ready to go on eBay auction. Okay. So, I no, I cannot send this like that. So, over here I have some wrapping paper. This stuff is the best to use. Oh, now, I'm making a mess. And I like... I get it any time I see it. If it's at yard sales, estate sales, 
especially if it's this thicker paper. And um, it won't it it won't rip as easily when you ship it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish wrapping this just like a Christmas present. I'll be right back. So now it is, it's packed like a Christmas, wrapped like a Christmas present. Um, I have to put the shipping label on it, and because it is a ground one, I'm not going to show you. Well, I could show you. It's ground. So I you just tape it on. That's why I only use just a little bit of tape to hold it, because when I put this on, I'm just going to really tape it good. So I'll show you when I'm done. So this one is totally taped up. Tops, bottom, and I even went all the way around it. So it will not rip open during shipping. On to the next item, which is an Atlantic City coffee mug, eBay sale. Don't forget your coffee, don't let it get cold. trimmed my shipping label down to size and I'm now going to write a thank you note to and this one is going to go out to Sarah in Texas so Sarah wait a minute make sure I spell her name right thank you for shopping with me My pen's falling apart. Okay. We will grab our thank yous real quick. Oh, another cute little mushroom sticker. How about a happy birthday? This one is 1931. <clears throat> Sometime, uh, one time, someone got a, um, a report card from somebody. It's a super, super old report card. So, yeah, a very vintage. This piece of paper is almost 100 years old. I'm not going to read it because it's kind of cool. Okay, I'll let you enjoy that little tidbit. And it, it's almost 100 years old, Sarah. <laughs> Fill the void. And I wanted to wrap around it. Kind of looks like a little rose. Wished I knew how to fold them like a rose. That would be cute. All right. No, Tracy, you don't need any more work for yourself. <laughs> All right. So the box I have for this one, because it also is a uh, a ground shipping, is just an old box that I have. Look, check it out. It's from Zares. Originally $7.99. Oh, look, it even has a thank you for shopping Zare sticker on it. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to fill the void with papers. So I'll be back, you guys. I'll be back. You guys, this paper is so huge. I'm saving this one to actually ship it out in. I will wrap it up inside out. So I'll use one of these.
What hell? Ah, uh, there we go. So I'm going to put this one in upside down. <clears throat> and put my card there. Right there. Her little thing, you know. And again, you guys know the drill. I'm just going to fill it all in all around. So it doesn't move. Oh, some of these are tiny. I'll be back. So, check to make sure it is good. I'm going to try not to tape this box. Um, I have to. Uh, the thing is, is the box itself is so old, there's not even... A, a UPC, the scan code on them. So, um, yeah, the box, it's so old itself. I hate to ruin it. It is a great display. Anyways, all right, I'm going to put a little bit of tape to hold the top down. Maybe the person can just cut the tape if they want to save the box. I have the pumpkin still. I just don't need the box. It doesn't even sit in the box anymore. Anyways, okay, so like I said, I'm using this to ship it. It is such a cool pattern. <clears throat> And piece of paper. That if it's too big, we will make it fit. I don't want to cut it at all. I'll be back when I'm done. All right. So this is a nice waxy paper. Um... I just have a couple little pieces of regular tape holding it on. I'm going to use my shipping tape to tape down the label again, of course, and finish really securing the outside wrapping paper. Whoops. Oops. I'm going to put these supplies away real quick, and I'll be, I'll be right back. So before we end this video, let's have another cup of coffee, swig of coffee. Wow, my glasses are getting worse, aren't they? Holy smokers. Anyways, coffee. I better get into town and get that prescription. So I can get those new ones. Alright, so anyway. Oh, I need my glasses. I want to say thank you to Jill in Florida. Jill in Cape Coral, Florida. Your package is getting shipped out today. Again, thank you so much for your purchase. I want to say thank you to Sarah in Rusk, Texas. Sarah, you're awesome. Your item's going out today as well. I hope you enjoy it. And Rachel in Brooklyn, New York, your item is going out today. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Um, I hope to see you as new family members soon. And um, if so, you guys, let me know. Leave me a comment in the message. Oh, my gosh. Leave me a comment in my video. You can send me an email. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. Um, my eBay pur purchasers, you're the best. Um, I hope you become a return buyer. My Poshmark buyer, oh, my gosh. You guys are great. Poshmark, I love you. I hope you all have the best day ever, and I'll see you in the next video.